All right, so Justin Yu is back, finally. Uh, to me, it's just it was just baffling. I mean, this guy wasn't doing World Cups just because of some unfortunate uh, knack results. And it really goes to show how hard knacks are, right? This uh, last San Jose knack, right? Fantastic fencers didn't make it out of pools. Uh, and some of them didn't make it past 64. So if ever you feel bad about yourself, like, don't worry about it. Bad tournaments happen. Grind it out. You will be back, King. So, uh, yeah, let's watch this bout. It's uh, I did this one on stream. So if you enjoy that, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and let me know. Uh, I answer questions from the viewers as I go. Uh, so these are pretty fun to do. Uh, and then it's against uh, Omari Smoke, who is definitely a little bit harder to you know, stay in your own zone. So uh, let's go have a look. So let's do uh, you versus Smoke. So this is a really... I also flickered through this bout, and a guy like Smoke, uh, and that kind of style, they're very, very, very focused on having you as distracted as you can possibly be. Like, they just don't want you to, they don't want you to f feel comfortable in your fencing, and a lot of styles like that, they drag you into their world. So how do we, let's watch how Justin Yu handles that, personally, right? When I fence guys like that, it's just I'm fencing by myself. Distance is number one. Uh, if you want, right, obviously, I, I fenced him. It was a bit controversial with our boy at the fencing coach. Yeah, that's all right, though. Like, uh, he's, he's, they're finding their own way. Uh, even if he's trying to copy McDowell, that's his thing, right? It seems to be uh, just kind of, it, it is what it is, right? You will be inspired by someone. But, like, they really want to bring you down in their world. Yeah, man, like, there's just a name that... Just the name Smoke, like, Smoke, it's cool. Smoke is a cool name. Uh, but a lot of it, right, is they want you to go into their world because they like the chaos. If you don't like the chaos, don't get into it. Fence your own game. And here, I believe, it looks like uh, Mr. Smoke was having a bit of a, a cramp. But, right, they, they live in the chaos, and that's where they're comfortable. If you don't give it to them, you don't, uh, you just don't change your style. You just stay true and that's also one of the best ways to improve like don't reinvent yourself every two weeks like find out how you want to fence and stick to it shout out to justin for wearing as a shoes oh a little see even see right already there right he's hyping himself up yeah exactly like you find your own style more easily if you fence like someone who you are inspired and it's absolutely fine if he wants to be inspired by McDowell. I think McDowell's an insane fencer. Obviously, there's other things we don't like so much about him, but the fencing itself is really good. And like, I, right away, like he's just super big shout. You look, he's interesting footwork, right? Yeah, screaming before the bout starts, like that's just his way to completely take you out of the bout before it even starts. As long as you stay on target, on point, you'll be fine. Keep to your game, not theirs. This is a very Justin you hit. Right, so you just wait, right? The guy's got low hand. What is he going to do? And, like, especially with that, right? You know that when you close in, they're going to try to wind up. Flesh, Justin grabs the eight. Sticks to his thing. And gets the hit. Boom. USA. USA. Yeah, some people think the... So I think here, our boy Smoke is uh, cramping. So, they go on medical. He's cramping. That's all right. We're not. Let's get that out of here. We don't. They go, don't, don't hit a homie while he's down, right? All right. So here, right away. Look at that. What is that, right? Distract you. Don't want you to fence your way.
when you look at that, this is a fantastic reaction by Justin. Seeing something I don't want to deal with, leave. Okay, now we're back. Now we're kind of back to a, a more normal fencing. All right, now now I can set my stuff up. Right, so just now kind of back to nor normal ish. Boom, nice and simple. Right, now we see we have an opponent in front of us. Low hand. What's probably going to happen? Knowing these guys, we're either going to get a pump, like a pump down flesh or a six or potentially a high low. But a lot of the white counters that will be a nice straight eight or an octave. So I'm willing to bet we're going to get something like that from Justin. Should it be? But you see, good double, right? We know we're going to get the counter or a six. So had Justin had made it a little bit smaller, that was a single in my opinion. Where like you commit to that moment and then you just, like I really want that like, like if a hit has to go hit, land, it's not good. It has to be like a real slap in the face as it were. What's going on? All right, little things like that, like arguing with the blade being too bent, like anything that can take you out of the moment. Stay in your zone, do your thing. All right, so, so this is like, so right now I'm surprised the bout ends up being this close, but look at that, right? Rushing, no, pick your moment. Looks like he just hit on the way in. But like, take your distance first, be comfortable, pick your moment properly. You're welcome, the Godzilla. Oh my God, I can't say that out loud. <laughs> but thank you, Godzilla. Appreciate it. Um, but you see now he's switching to pistol. Well, that's what good fencing is, right? It's a really simple game. Uh, but in general, right, a lot of very good fencers, what do they have? Two, three good hits, and they use them so well in different situations. Like it's one door that I can open up Three, four, three to five different doors, right? So saying, oh, you only beat me with one thing. Well, have you, are you able to beat the one thing? Probably not, right? So you're already, he's taken, he's taken Justin out of his element, out of the element, switch to pistol. Let's switch to kind of boxer stance, start moving left and right. How do we deal with that? Very, very difficult. Personally, I would just try to flesh. We just saw six. Welcome, Red Devil. Red Evil. Egyptian. Welcome from Egypt. Ooh. So there, right? See? Justin got caught up in the moment. And he didn't really do... He didn't, like... He's kind of like, it's not, I don't feel like this is a half action, All right? He got, he got sucked into the, the kind of loopy stuff. Justin knew about the forbidden toe flesh. My brother, you got a gold medal yesterday? Let's spam this guy with some, some 100s in the chat for a boy's gold medal yesterday. Congratulations, buddy. More to come, I hope. Let's 
So they're right away, right? Justin's starting to try to stay focused now. Yeah, you try not to buy into it too hard. So far, Justin's not really uh, seemingly too phased yet. But with pistol grip, Smoke's already fencing more different. He's clear like this is more McDowell style. Ooh, so look at that. Wait, so what? I think you can hear it. You can hear the coach, like he's saying, relax. Step back. So look at that. This is right. Look at that. He's he's being shown like he's being shown like a, a saber three. A saber three. And Justin's like, I've never seen that. You know, I haven't seen that uh, since my saber days, back when I was a wee boy in my suit of armor. And he kind of panics. The answer is not a foot flick, right? Go straight. I'm probably going to stream. I'm going to do one more bout after this. So I'm going to stream for, it's probably going to do another 45 minutes to an hour. Because uh, then I got to go work out. Right, and then here... Right, Smoke knows that the answer to this is a straight hit. So just in case, I better windmill. Yeah, the ref, so just little things, right? Technically, the ref should card. Right, so, so far, Justin, like, he kind of got caught up. And now, like, Smoke's kind of in his head. So let's see what happens. I don't think this is a prior trip. I think this should he should have been a card. That should have been a card. You gotta wait till the time stops, in my opinion. Ooh. So this, right? So look at that. Right? A little flick. A little arm pump. Show some action. Stand up a little bit. Right? So now we have initiated the chaos. Well, Better yeet myself. Like, how, how do you react to that? The whole, like, the dude's just sprinting at you, right? Just, like, he actually looks like a deer in the headlights. And, right, he just doesn't know how to react. Gets hit way before. So, like, do I? Right, and then homie gives you the, like, the, the punk metal scream. So... Like in terms of actual, uh, of actual fencing, it's not very pretty, but tactically, uh, tactically, it's actually crazy, right? Like, let me just show you a little bit, and then as soon as I see that you're weak, I'm just gonna go. Oh, I see. So Amari was actually uh, cramping in Imrex bout. Ooh. So now the distance under. All right, so Justin's getting caught off guard. He's getting caught sleeping. A hit like this for Justin's caliber. Why are you trying right? Why are you trying to play why are you trying to play hide the tip? Right? So what's what's crazy here is that Omari was kind of initiating all of these and Justin decided to fuck around and find out. He found out. So here, like, in my opinion, just leave that. Leave that. Decide how the bout's going to go, not the other way around. There he goes. This, this I like more. 
right? Like on the back foot. Like Omari is kind of forced to defense on the back foot. Ooh. So this one I don't mind as much, right? It's just a little flick, but it's still very reactive by Justin. But I like that he's he started doing stuff by himself as opposed to reacting. This one is just kind of like, I, I wouldn't think, like, it's fantastic. Yeah, I'm not going to say it's not lucky, but, like, why I just tried, he got it. I don't mind this at all. Like, this is just good fencing, right? That's why, oh, my God. Again, right? First, like, 10 seconds, why are you getting hit? Don't give this guy the chaos. Like, Justin Yu is a super mechanical fencer. His, his hits should be lasting 30 seconds or more. That's when he's at his strongest. But also, at the same time, now I'm just going to put my point in line. Good reaction. So good adaptation. Right? So sometimes, you're in a headlight, but you can also, you can also be a bit more ready. Good. So now that the hit's taking longer, this is going in Justin's favor. The deer has a sword. Yeah, at like the end of the day, right, the deer's still, still going to fight. Good. All right, don't play around. Look at that. Oh, my God, what? Let me just assert dominance right quick. Good. See, look at that. That's fantastic fencing right now. Oh, yeah, I think they kind of hugged, so this is probably not good. But Justin made the commitment, like, I was almost his. Nice. There it is, that's the moment. So Justin's fencing really well. That was a sick hit. So let's, and like, yeah, like that happened almost right away. That's because right before that, we had so much development. And also like, I'm just going to say, the dude just had a medical where you cramped. He cramped. Why are you giving him 10 second hits in general? Right? So here, boom, here's what I'd be looking to. And boom, straight. Fantastic. Davai Justin. Didn't know he was. I think uh, Gago was his coach, right? Or was his coach? Anyway, they've got a lot of uh, a lot of Russian coaches out there. Oh. All right, so here again. Don't give. Smoke sensing well by keeping his point in line. Super good. But why are you giving Smoke a 10 second window of hit? Make it last. Make it last. The dude just cramped and it's not his forte. Technique is your forte. So, okay, like, Justin is right, right? So. So, two things here, like, yes, but also, coaching in the back, fantastic. Just stay in the bout. I'm uh, not wrong. I think this is questionable, right? Like, this this is why, like, we get weird rules. Uh, this is why we get weird rules implemented, folks. All right, so. But this is on. 
So Justin, in my opinion, right, get back in. It is what it is. We can't change what's going to happen. So, all right. Let's stay focused. We're not going to be second period Susans. So far, Justin, like, take a second, bend your blade, tie your shoe. It's hard not to get tilted. That's what they want. Uh, but for me, in the moments like that, I'm like, if I don't tilt and I win, that's the biggest, that's the biggest flex, in my opinion. Nice hit. Look at that. Like, that was just a long setup. So we're seeing four, four, four. Flick. Boom. Good flesh, right? Our opponent is not ready. There's that. Like, personally, I feel like they should, but, like, I don't know how the politics of refing works in the U.S., uh, maybe if Damien, the fencing coach, is watching, he can let us know. Uh, but I think, I think like at least it should have at least been one card here. Uh, this is, but like it, it's very hard, right? There's a lot of power dynamics. But unfortunately, ooh, yeah, maybe the coach. So good on Justin for picking his action. He was in the right on that. His opponent finished. And Justin's picking his moments, not the other way around. So six seconds against a guy like this. Be ready straight up. You don't know what's going to happen. Oh, he still went for it. See, so here, right? This is exactly what they want. Breathe. That sounds like Ari. Fari, that's you? What's up? Uh, but yeah, like, breathe, calm down, right? If at any point in time, I, I'm not the best example of time. If at any point in time, if at any point in time I'm doing a stare down on someone, I'm officially in their head, living rent free, right? Take it easy. Slow it down, brother. This is your bout. Keep it that way. So let, let's see. Uh, let's see what I think the coach says something. Let's try to let's have a let's have a gander. Yeah, I think. Yeah. It's very hard to hear. But yeah, so the, the, the coach rightfully so, right? So that's one thing too. As a coach, or if you have your coach there, as a fencer, your job is to fence. Uh, and then if someone wants to go argue with the ref a little bit, it should be like the coach should be the one doing that. Not so much the fencers. As a fencer, like try to stay in the bout. Uh, maybe in the minute, be like, hey, coach, can you quickly be like, hey, Ref, can you check it out? So, so this is the same one earlier. So there, Justin picked his moment. Eight, stop, hit. He's fine, hit way before the fall. So they're probably going to argue for 10 minutes. So now. So now, right, when you got when you got someone who has not been moving against you the whole time and all of a sudden he's giving you right, he's giving you the bunny hops. You're in the zone. You force them to change what kind of chaos they want. So Fantastic. So right now, just like if Justin is smart, he knows he's in control. 
Very clean fencing, right? He's getting big beats. Big actions. Stay calm. On the palm, very close. <coughs> the hand in the back, I don't think it's a big deal. I, I don't, I'll be honest, I barely noticed. Uh, I think it's fine. So that's the one he wanted earlier. Remember how when uh, earlier in the bout, Omari got the flick to the back? With better distance, right? You get that reaction, get the eight, boom, fantastic. Way better discipline. So now, you've convinced your opponents that what he's doing isn't working. You're in control. You don't need to leave your own zone. Force them to come to you. Fantastic. He's picking his moments. His opponent has to come in. Great job. Great fencing. And Solg is actually a very good fencer. Keep in mind, I'm not... Uh, Right, it's not my uh, it's not my favorite style, but it doesn't mean he's not a good fencer. It's just not how I like to do things. But dude's right, top eight at the knack. That's a fantastic result. So let's not uh, let's not turn this into a hate thread. It's just what it is, right? So is he going? He's going back to French grip. Well, personally, I think. Well, that is a very curved blade, I'll be honest. Weird move by Justin. But yeah. Pure classical, only French grip allowed, only uh, no pommeling though, that's illegal. The evangelist, uh, he's probably, so my guess as to why he switched to French, he probably felt a little figured out slash perhaps exposed. Uh, so he's like, you know what? I have a better chance if I completely switch, right? If I completely switch the, uh, the paradigm, like the, if I completely switch the dimension as opposed to just force my, forcing the issue on pistol. So here I think it was just like, he thought he had a better chance of completely switching it up than to just try to force, exactly, more chaos. But I, I personally think it's wrong because uh, Omari was getting a lot of actions by being a little bit uh, stronger. And right, see, like he goes in, that's just a lesson hit for you. And then here, right, minute something left. Personally, I would just be looking for a sweet, sweet flesh. What's going on? Why the halt? Ah, that's a card. That's a card. Cannot fix your weapon. Like, cannot fix your wire like that. So, we got our confirmation, they did not give the yellow earlier. This is the first official yellow and it's for pulling the wire. Right, so here, like, I think... Yeah, just like when Justin picks his action with French, it's so strong. Against a French grip, like, I think, uh... I think Smoke should have stick to pistol, but... You know, it's, it's on... Less on brand, so now Justin's probably just gonna find a moment and yeet himself. Right, it's so hard to disengage this. So this is just a good right boom. My opponent so why is this action good? Threaten. Worst case double if my opponent pulls back. So here, right, by being calm. This is 
right? There's no bigger flex than just winning here, right? So make sure you stay calm during the bout. So now let's go to a more 